Hello. How are you? No. Okay, you're a lady from a local, a local lady. I was born in Michigan, <clears> but I'm in California now. Okay. <laughs> well, this lady contacted me from that professor. You can you hear me okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Good. You're going to jump up? Okay. Can you steal from my large tall head? Just the buttons. <laughs> yes? Like I said, the... Oh, yes. As you look at the dream, where, what do you, where do you put your finger on the crisis at the pivotal point upon which the drama unfolds? Always the same question. So from that, you should be able to say what the problem is. And we're lucky enough to have our family, uh, St. Bernard, with us this evening. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, his father was a St. Bernard and his mother was a coyote. That's just why his <laughs> peers so fierce. <laughs> See, we're talking about you. Yeah. You have some schmutz on your. <laughs> you got more schmutz. Let me take care of this here. What number? Uh, number four. And I'm really angry and I start to walk away to another section of the house. Like I have something else to do, but I know I really don't. No. Okay. Someone else? So the question is, at what is the turning point? Uh, my father turning off the fan without asking me. Number? Number three. Barbara? I don't know yet. I'm okay. still thinking. You know, it's very interesting. Smack dab in the middle of that third paragraph... <laughs> Is your saying one thing and his saying one thing. Yeah. There's no other talking in it. Ah. Um, but you say something about... Uh, so um, what... Is that important for you? Um, well, I, I, I was thinking that might be the turning point. Okay. Okay. Elder? Um, I haven't read it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was looking at number five. Fine, okay. Where he, all of a sudden he considers his father's feelings. And mm. Okay, good. What's going on? Well, also this house, um, he, in the five he says, it's, and this house is his only way to exert it, to exert his point of view, or his power. And, um, so I guess he's in uh, this house, too. Now, are you telling me something you find curious, or are you answering the question? Well, the first line is, I'm in this big, expensive house. And, that, um, that's true. And then this is the house. That's true. This house is the only yeah. way Are you so. answering the question, or are you finding some curiosity? Um... Curiosity. Okay, okay, good to know. But I would still go back to that original point okay. I made, because that's what he, they okay. both exert their, well. Okay. Um, I'm wondering, 
wondering about three because he speaks up. He stands up for himself. Okay, Jeff. What do you think? Uh, well, it's just a comment, but what I will say is that that state of mind of uh, uh, losing my temperance when someone changes something I did without asking me, I guess, that's probably not exactly okay. it. But that yeah. state of mind is very common in my life. No. It's, it's a very common Good. feeling. Good. Yeah. Good. Other than that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yes, please. Number one struck yes. me also because he's in this gorgeous bathroom and kind of rummaging around. Whoops. Yeah. There's a feminine part, so it's <laughs> kind of like trespassing, but yet curious mm -hmm. and a very strong feeling of being uncomfortable. That's true. But, but, it's on the but is that a doorway really into the... Is that a doorway into the problem? It's a, look, a, it's a good observation just as truly was making. To me, that kind of indicates the, it's not my house. That's and I'm okay. I'm here, so then that kind of leads into number three and two, where you turn the fan on and it causes a conflict. That's true. Okay, shall we jump in? Please. Right. Would you read three? <clears throat> so I leave the door open. I'll read the whole thing. Yeah. Starting from one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm in this big expensive house, and I'm in a bathroom upstairs, and there's a paper bag of something on the counter, and I press the thin paper close to see what's inside it, and it says something about feminine pads, and it surprises me, and I go, well, I put it back down, surprised, like, oh, this is girl stuff. I better get out of here. <clears throat> and so number two, before I leave, I turn on not just one, but two fans in the bathroom. And I really like that because it has a nice blowing, and the bathroom is really wet from, like, somebody took a shower or something. And I didn't expect that the bathroom would have such nice ventilation and fans. Uh, it'll really dry fast this way. Three. So I leave the door open, and as I'm leaving, with the fans going, my father passes me, comes in, and turns one or both of these fans back off without asking me. But I say something about that. I was doing that to dry out the bathroom from the moisture. And he says something about, well, it's better to save electricity. <clears throat> And I raise my voice and I say, I'll pay. Um, because I didn't say it in the dream, but, you know, because I'm thinking, how, how much can it be? A few extra cents? Geez, you know, I'll pay. And I really don't like being contradicted. <clears throat> Number four. So now I'm down on the first floor and he's coming down the stairs. <clears throat> he's starting to say something, but I guess what I said cut him off or something. And I'm still really angry. And I start to walk away to another section of the house downstairs like, like I have something else to do. But I know that I really don't have anything else to do. I'm just fuming walking around. And I think, I know that if he asks me what I'm doing, I won't have anything to say. <clears throat> like, where am I going? Because I'm just fuming trying to walk off my anger. <clears throat> Number five. But then I also think about things from his point of view and how he probably doesn't feel like he has a lot of power and this house is his only way to exert it. And I start to feel sorry for him a little bit. And also something about, well, it's just a pot or an urn that I'm walking towards as Good. I think that. Good. Does the dreamer <coughs> reveal... <coughs> pardon me. In the dream, <coughs> what he has found... Of personal value, of something he likes, something he did. Hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. So then, in that sense, we could say he's identified a good that he is now enjoying. 
personal good. He's enjoying it. Okay, look here. Then what happens? What happens? Then, as it were, right, right, right. Someone, right, ends it, right. Consequence. He runs away and pretends that he's doing right. Um, now watch. Um, did uh, our dreamer let someone get away from destroying something he was participating and enjoying? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm. And even though he may have put into words what that person was doing, which turns out to be his father, is it still dead? Therefore, as you consider it, what's the question you would like to ask him? Hmm. Uh, I would ask why he didn't follow up by continuing to press the his his objection or by turning the fans back on thank you put the two together yeah all right mm -hmm. that's the drama hmm. right okay for for some reason and the dream is telling us that stuff wasn't made in the dream that is to say, he didn't turn it on, mm. nor put it into words. So mm -hmm. at that moment, we say, say, uh, what was it like at that moment uh, when your dad said what he said? Right. Um, <coughs> it's better to save, he said something about, it's better to save electricity. At that moment, what was that like when he said that to you? It's a lie. <laughs> Good. More. I mean, I know, and, and what I hate about it is that I get drawn into this discussion about I'll pay, which is his logos, mm -hmm. but it's not about the effing electricity. Right. It's about you, and I didn't see it until you just laid it out, but of course, it's you squashed something that I enjoyed. That's yeah. what it's really about, you so-and-so. Yeah. So, -and -so. <laughs> yeah. so, so then, all right, in the dream, did you see it was a lie? See, that's, that's the thing that I'm trying to relate to, and not just in the dream, but all in my childhood in these various events. Okay, we can use it. Okay. Well, I want to no, I want to answer. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that I have the presence of mind or the understanding to call it a lie, but I do know that I'm being I have a sense I'm being conned. Yeah, good. 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 <clears throat> right. So, and I these words that So I now mean, it's a double con because other con. Yeah. And I'm really frustrated and pissed off yeah. because it's now, it's now insult and injury. Right. That's right. So ideally, at that moment, what would it have been great to have done or said? That's right. How do you answer the koan? Mm-hmm. What is it about happiness that bothers you? Oh, because he must have seen that you enjoy it, right? Yeah. Good. What else? Would you have allowed the condition to remain? 
Um, yeah, I want to go with Kathy's thing. So I did Eldar's. Now I want to do Kathy's thing, right? And yeah, say, yeah. turn the suckers back on. But uh, there's a voice in my head going, yeah, but it's his house, brother. You know, you, you got it's his rules. You know, you can't have this, right? What are we going to do? Fight over the switch so it becomes a physical thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so given those, go ahead. See, because I think the thing is, if I did put the switches back on, I want to do it. The more important thing is to maintain my happy state of mind. That's the more important thing. That's right. Whether those switches go on or off, because mm -hmm. that's what he's really turning off is that's my state of mind. Yeah. So how, whatever action I take, it's, it's got to be fun, joyful, creative, mm -hmm. and still powerful, courageous. Yeah. And he can see that. Yeah. That shit ain't happening, buddy. You know? But Therefore you'd have to say something to maintain that state. Right. So what's the <laughs> Right. It's a beautiful question. Uh how to respond to that. Um <laughs> so, um, how do you how do you deal with a person who is dedicated to unhappiness? So okay. even if I'm going to stay in a good state of mind myself, um, he really doesn't want to be up there. He wants to live down here. No. So I might want to invite him in and go, well, let's, let's dance a jig, Dad, <laughs> you know, or let's go out and have a beer. Let's, right? I can try and say something positive, but his, it's very easy for a negative person to overpower no. that and just go, no. no. Ah. Stay with what he said. What did he say? Oh, that it's about the electricity. Yes, therefore deal with the word. Well. Deal with the <clears throat> You see, you're not appreciating the fact that uh, I happen to know things you don't know about electricity. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the most, uh, uh, most expensive things in any <laughs> household. <clears throat> And just to put on the lights usually costs a, a considerable fortune, but to turn on and turn off two fans is, is a terrible oh, and you know, for the whole family. Uh, what? See, this is the thing, and even, well, I hate to bring my mom into it, but she would talk about it too. She, like, why is it always about the money with your father? And he turns everything into money, and my mom would say, well, the, the reason he turns everything into money is because that's the only place he feels powerful. Well, I don't know if that's psycho babble or not, but that does seem to be kind of what's going on here. Yes. We're, we're yeah. going to make it about money, and I know I'm being conned. It's not about money. It's about the state of mind that you turned off in me. But deal with so, the statement. So, she fell for it, too. Yeah, right? She fell for it, too. So, I mean, I could say something to him like, um, um, how many happiness points do you get for a buck around here? <laughs> or something like that. Gee. Like, is it, really, is it really worth your son's happiness uh, to shut off the light? Well, what I really want to ask you, Pierre, is why do I want to even go down his... What why do it? I want to talk about electricity? Oh, you're missing a key point, okay? And the dream. You come back and you say, I'll pay. Yeah. It's like, it's going to be 30 cents, you, you so-and-so. Yeah. I'll give you the stupid 30 cents right what, now. You what was that like at that moment in the dream? Um... A brief sense of power, mm -hmm. but fleeting. That's okay, but that was a sense of power. Therefore, we want to know that was the right direction. What happened to it in the dream? So well, then I added, and I don't like being contradicted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it does cut him off. Um, so whatever he was going to say, he's... What he doesn't. Happened, what was it like saying that statement, I don't like being contradicted? That's just, I mean, it, um, what was that like? Yeah, because that's the history statement. 
yeah, it, um, just sheer anger, indignation, just yeah, yeah, sure. pissed off. No, no, that's true. But it's a statement about your past. Mm. You're adding something to the event. Mm. Like right? it's saying, you've done this before to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So therefore, you, what are you doing? You had the power. Now, what was it like making that statement, you see? You know, it's almost like it's more his statement. That's right. At, back into the battle. It's more like something he would say. Yeah. That's yes. Right. So you won, see? You won. You dealt with the statement. Yeah, I'll pay. And then you slipped into... But I didn't turn the switch back on. Yeah. That's right. That's the next thing would be to push the stuff on. I mean, if it really is only 30 cents, here you go. Switch yeah. back on. Right, right. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, goodbye. So why do I allow myself to get pulled in? It looks like from the dream, you're after reaching this very fine state and of power, you then slip back into a statement dealing with your own history with him. Read it, see? It's, just, it's a history, see? right? I don't like being contradicted. Yeah. It's like a tyrannical statement. Yeah. It's like, how dare you? Yeah, yeah, good. And I have to lecture you or patronize you to even... I should not even have to tell you this. It's so obvious. So what are you doing? <clears throat> Wasting my breath. Yeah. <laughs> You're one. Yeah. Then you slipped into this. Well, but I think that this part refers... Uh, Go ahead. Undercut. I feel undercut. Yeah. Yeah. And I... But that undercut, I think, just goes back to his turning the switches off without even asking me. That's... Except your statement is his, refers to a past behavior. Well, I'm, I'm questioning that now because well, it just says, and I really don't like being contradicted. Well, that could refer to the... the I don't you know, like being just, contradicted. That might, just, that might actually just refer to what just happened just now. No, it's a, no is that not the statement? Look at it again. I really don't like being... Is that making a statement about something that's... about you and something you like and don't like that's, yes. as it were, ever-present? Ye yes. Yeah? Well, that's what you're introducing. What did that cost you is the issue in the dream. That's all. You know, I said it was tyrannical, but... Yes, because then from this comes anger, doesn't it? Yes, what actually... It's, it sounds like I'm patronizing or I'm talking from above or being a tyrant. I really don't like being contradicted, and you should know that. But actually, in all honesty, what it's like to say that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is... Um, it, it's... Uh, it's actually, in a way, it's a, it's a form of weakness. Mm -hmm. It is. Because you'll have to good state. Right, and I'm, and I'm sort of saying that over my shoulder as I bust out mm -hmm. of there. Mm -hmm. And I really don't like being contradicted to sort of, sort of get rid of them. No. Yeah. But it's, it's not a, it's, you're right, it's not a statement of strength no. or of no. being. Mm -hmm. And um, now five. So why? Again, is this past history? Are we skipping down to five now? Yeah. Well, we <coughs> went from four, anger, five.
Yeah, why do I let him off the hook? Mm -hmm. And in your mind. Yeah, I'm doing this all in my head. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. He doesn't yeah. have much power. Yeah. Uh, that's my mom. Yeah. That's okay. what my mom does. Good. Pities him and yeah. stays so with him anyway. You slip in mom and pop. Yeah. Wow. Well, now we can ask a question. See? This is a victory dream up to this point. This is a victory. So it's a contrast. Yeah. So you are having victories. Yeah. But you're slipping back in a way of viewing mm -hmm. the confrontation. Have, is it possible you may have had some confrontations? Um, or interactions? Yes, but not recently. Um. <clears throat> See, this is saying there's a crisis. Yeah. You called it. Then you went into the mom and pop family game. Right. Right. So the question is, have you been confronting in your everyday world successfully, but may have then reflected and gone through some yeah very interesting mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I I ah. Well, like I say, nothing recently, although I, I mean, I, I want to say my boss, but I don't want to blame him. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, because m much of my problem at work is my own pathologos. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not his problem. Mm -hmm. Um but he did take some steps with other employees and me. I'm not going to name any names, but um, that for me kind of was like my father just taking the switch and just turning it off. Mm -hmm. It really turned off all my enthusiasm, and mm -hmm. I don't know if he was aware that he did that or not. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy, so mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> uh, you know, it's not malicious. No, okay, but, but did you deal um, with it successfully? No, I, I still have not dealt with it successfully. And um, I really don't know how to. By the way, did you just uh, a few minutes ago talk to me about what's happening at work? Yes. Well, uh, are some people uh, turning off? Well, I made another call about some possible to another person on campus about how to yeah. Deal with extend my is. software and yeah, and yeah. extend his software. And he said basically. The campus-wide IT guys have taken over everything, and they're not letting out any information. And you and I are really not allowed to play anymore. Um, so this is really not good timing to suggest even extending some software to out to campus-wide because we have no idea what those guys are even going to do. Uh, so I'm just sitting tight. I'm not extending it in my own software, and I suggest you do the same, Jeff, until we find out what these jokers are doing. Why didn't your boss find that out? Well, I mentioned it to my boss. I said I made uh, this call and I talked with another programmer on campus and he says this is what's going down and, and, and none of it makes sense. We have to just, and everything's past deadline, we just have to sit tight and wait. Mm -hmm. So the plan you had for me, which was to, if I extend my software, you can help me get a raise or this kind of mm -hmm. thing, is not going to work right now at least, at least in that form because... Um, the environment is not right now anymore for extending but anybody's may software. May I ask you a simple question? I just, yeah. Um, <clears throat> can they be questioned? Can who? The central IT guys? Yeah, IT guys. Yes, and we were... They can be, but and I can certainly do it, but what this other programmer was saying to me is that 
he's made several attempts and he gets nothing but a, I mean, he gets nothing but a, just a, you know, a blank. He, he, he can't get any answers out of them. Now, that doesn't prevent me. I certainly can. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it possible you might have a different way? Hey, yes, I might, I might be able to approach people in a, in a manner that wouldn't piss people off. <laughs> or turn them on. Or turn them on. All of this, come to, all of this is up. This is. Yeah, but what's at risk here is, <clears throat> really it's about, I think, collaboration. Yeah. You have to be willing to work with other people, and, if, and they're going to do things, but keep your state of mind and not get pulled into this. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Not get pulled into it. Because they are going to do things. Yeah. By the way, what is your opinion of that other gentleman who may have made a, some request about the IT people? <laughs> How well do you think he managed that? He, he reminds me of my father, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. All right, thank you, sir. Okay.